my time has finally come. Today, I get to talk about cephalopods. Yes! Hey guys, Julia here for DNews. Octopi and their fellow cephalopods scare the living daylights out of my sister. Something about a traumatic trip to the 20,000 leagues under the sea ride. So sister, you should probably turn this episode off because as it turns out, there's a lot to be afraid of. Okay, really in my opinion, there's a lot to love about these mollusks. Like a recent discovery that some species of octopuses can see through their skin. Seriously. Octopuses make a chemical in their eyes called opsins, which react to light and send a chemical signal to the brain. In two studies published in the Journal of Experimental Biology, researchers found that these molecules can also be found in their skin. In octopuses, these molecules are nerve endings on the cell. These little hair-like extensions detect light and send a chemical signal to special color-changing cells on their skin, called chromatophores. In other cephalopods, like squid and cuttlefish, these molecules are actually found in the chromatophores themselves. Scientists think this might be how cephalopods have such an uncanny ability to blend in with their surroundings. Oh yeah, these guys are the masters of camouflage. I mean, some cephalopods have up to 96,000 chromatophores per square inch of skin. Each of these chromatophores contain a sack of pigment surrounded by muscle, and by stretching or squeezing the sack, they can change the appearance of their colors. Other species of cephalopods have other crazy color cells like iridophores, which make iridescent colors, or leucophores, which mirror back the environment. But besides changing colors, some cephalopods can change the texture of their skin. Yeah, crazy, I know. In a study published in the Journal of Morphology, researchers found that cephalopods have small muscular structures on their skin that can either like poke up vertically in a spike or bump or spread out nice and smooth. So they can morph into crazy patterns and change textures in their environment like mimicking corals, rocks, or sand, or mimicking other sea creatures like T. mimicus, an Indo-Pacific species of octopus. Not only are they great pretenders, but they are crazy, crazy smart. Like they've been known to pull pranks and play in captivity. According to Canadian biologist Jennifer Mather, they blow water at stuff in their tanks and take apart stuff like robots just for the fun of it. And play is something thought to be only found in intelligent creatures like birds and apes. There's so many stories of them like sneaking out of their tanks at night or stealing a fish or two from a nearby tank, then plopping back in their tank in the morning and acting like nothing happened. Mather even noticed that octopuses have personalities. Different creatures are more shy or more active than others. These traits come from their big brains, well, relatively big. Their brains aren't as big as ours per se, but bigger than many other mollusks. Most mollusks have brains that are actually clusters of nerve cells spread throughout the body. But cephalopods have a more centralized group of these ganglia or nerve cells. This centralizes command in the creature and provides more room for developing things like memory. They also have little mini brains or groups of nerve cells throughout their arms. I haven't even mentioned that cuttlefish are adorable and cuddly, and an octopus has a beak, which is kind of weird, and some species have an arm called a hectocotylus that acts a lot like a penis by storing and transferring sperm to the female, which just gets weird. Speaking of the weird and wonderful, Lacey explains all about real life sea monsters in this great video right here. The fact that it's massive is actually the least frightening characteristic to me of this squid. On its arms and tentacles are hundreds of small teeth, and at the end of its limbs are little hooks that it uses to grab into prey. So did I just make you love cephalopods as much as I do, or are you now going to have nightmares? Let us know down in the comments below. While you're at it, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back here. We've got new episodes of D News every day of the week. Yes, I love my job. <laughs>